six, five, four, three, two, one. This is a film about the facades people put up and the expectations that people have about other people and the sort of ways that the freedom to be seen as who you want to be seen as, freedom to be seen as the person that you are, and the sort of limitations that people put on that freedom. People want to love you, Monk. Barbie and Ken had come to our world, and while they're there, they discover different things. Barbie thinks that Barbie saved women, and Ken is surprised to encounter a world in which he is acknowledged as having any importance at all. We were always thinking about children playing with them, that there was this childlike aspect to both of them. There's a naive quality, but also a playfulness, and even a kind of wickedness that children have, and certainly in the Ken world. <laughs> I'm coming with you. No. I knew this was going to be one of the most important things to technically figure out. The Trinity test and the revelation of the first atomic explosion to the world was one of the most important moments in the 20th century. And I wanted to take the audience into that room and be there for that conversation and be there when that button is pushed. Three-person God. What? Trinity. Yorga had a great vision and she was such a great character and in the book you don't know her internal journey it was kind of like us using the book but also creating it the opportunity to create this kind of dialogue was rare so we just started from scratch and we just worked our way till we got the script to a good place i am not sorry if i know the world i can improve it the idea was to try and be invisible to the actors, to create an arena for them and watch their behavior within that arena. It gave us the ability to kind of capture things in real time, which was so important to create present tense. The whole idea of this project was to try and present or reflect our similarities with perpetrators. They are us and our neighbors. <laughs>